always listen to music before bed. When I was younger, my mom would sing lullabies until I fall asleep. I got my first phone at age 12. Due to limited memory, there were only two songs on that phone, Taylor Swift's You Belong With Me and Baby by the one and only Justin Bieber. I would listen to him all night until the battery drops and wake up still singing the song in my head. And as a 12 year old, nothing is cooler than knowing all the rap part to Justin Bieber's baby. Fast forward 10 years later, I've got my most precious possession, a Bluetooth speaker, and an ability to recite wherever and whenever Moon's five song. While this phenomenon of having a song stuck in your head, which 90% of people experience at least once a week, is called earworms and involuntary musical imagery. I blame and thank the lockdown for this knowledge. We all remember that song, Savage Love, Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? Or that Taylor Swift remix, Marry me, Juliet, you'll never have to be alone. I love you and that's all I really know. Well, despite being homebound during lockdown, we hear them everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, the radio, every single social media, even from friends over the phone. Sometimes we love it, sometimes we hate it. These songs that intrude into our minds and hang around like an unwanted house guest, and it's always the same part of the song on the loop for hours and hours and hours. Well, I don't always hate it. But during the fourth lockdown, I discovered the downside of having earworms. It is associated with worse sleep quality. In a recent study published by the Psychological Science Journal, researchers found three important things about nighttime earworms. First, although 87% of the respondents believe that music improves sleep quality, results found that those who frequently listen to music during the day experience more earworms at night. This leads to lower sleep quality. It has also been reported that nighttime earworms are far, far more irritating than daytime earworms. Imagine having Destiny's Child say my name, say my name, stuck in your head the whole night. Like, shut up Beyonce, I need to sleep. Second of all, instrumental music or those without the lyrics cause poorer sleep when compared to those with lyrics. Researchers said that this could be because instrumental music creates a lower attentional state, which basically increases earworms, or that participants might have tried to fill in the lyrics from their own memory. Did you know that even when you sleep, the brain still continues to play melodies? This is why we will sometimes wake up with songs stuck in our head even when the battery has long been dead. If there's anything to learn from this research, is that although listening to music is undeniably enjoyable, too much of it during the day might be harmful for your health, or in this case, your sleep. And the key to an amazing day is always a good night's sleep. If I could wish for one thing, anything right now, is to be able to trap lessons in my head as quick as I trap song lyrics. You see, if Beyonce could maybe write a few songs about communication theories, who knows I might win a Nobel Prize in the future.